because when it comes to being in denial viewers there is no greater story than perhaps this former congress party and psc member not insignificant senior member simi rose bell john was expelled from the congress party on sunday that is yesterday following comment she made in an interview to a private tv channel now simi rose bell john had alleged that only those close to the congress leadership in kerala get opportunities in the state unit there is she said quote a situation similar to the casting couch that we have in mollywood happening within the congress party today unquote the moment she made these comments viewers post haste she was expelled kicked out kicked out from the party summarily without hearing kicked out now viewers let me tell you that in companies private enterprises even in government if a female employee comes out and makes specific allegations immediately a committee is set up under the POSH guidelines now these came into play viewers post the nirbhaya incident and that employee a her identity is immediately immediately covered the complaint is investigated this posh committee sits and looks at everything summons those people who have been charged etc and they also have to inform the police but viewers in the case of miss john she was shown the door none of these processes kicked in post her expulsion john expressed a disappointment and she said quote viewers it's on your screens that quote which i will just take you over she says that i worked hard for the party for the congress they expelled someone who works tirelessly women with self respect can't work in the congress Let's listen to her. അതിന്റെ കാരണം എന്താണെന്ന് വിശദീകരിക്കണം സി പി എം ആയിട്ട് ഗൂഢാലോചന നടത്തി അതിനെന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു തെളിവുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് ദയവായി പുറത്തു വിടണം പിന്നെ അവരുടെ ഹൃദയ വേദന അതെന്നോട് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് ആ സമയത്ത് എനിക്ക് അവിടെ പോവാൻ പറ്റിയില്ല കാരണം ലിമിറ്റേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവര് അവരെ പുറത്താക്കി എന്തായിരുന്നു കാരണം നിങ്ങൾ ആലോചിക്കുക but the congress viewers has rationalized the decision in a statement by the kerala pradesh congress committee kpcc general secretary m liju has stated that the kpcc president k sudhakaran had quote expelled former aicc member and psc member simi rose bell john from the primary membership of the party and quote according to the statement simi rose bell john's accusations were aimed at mentally quote harassing and defaming lakhs of women leaders and workers in the congress movement allegedly in collusion with political adversaries unquote so viewers for her absolute faith in the congress party for her faith in the system to give her justice or to look into what is a very very serious allegation viewers she has been rewarded with expulsion that's what's happened the expulsion without a probe or a hearing filed in the face of uh, congress sian priyanka vadra's exhortations to women to stand up and expose their exploiters in the past priyanka gandhi vadra has talked about the inherent strength women within women saying and i quote ladki hu lad sakti hu was her clarion call to women to stand up for themselves Listen in to Priyanka Gandhi Vadra why hasn't that been applied to the case of Miss John Viewers fundamental question but first listen in to Priyanka Gandhi Vadra and I'll open this up for conversation right after Main aap sab se kehna chahti hu aap samaj sevika hain aap adhyapak hain aap ek naujawan mahila hain jo aap apna bhavishya banana chahti hain aap press mein hain agar aap badlav chahti hain to intezar mat kariye आपकी सुरक्षा कोई नहीं करने वाला सब बातें करते हैं सुरक्षा करने का जब समय आता है 
तो सुरक्षा उनकी होती है जो आपको कुचलते हैं इसको महिलाएं बदल सकती हैं मैं आपसे कहना चाहती हूँ राजनीति में आओ मुझसे कंधा से कंधा मिलाओ मैं जानती हूँ कि आपके संघर्ष क्या है Well, we just lost that operational part when she said, "Ladki hoon, lad sakti hoon." But nonetheless, viewers, that's what she fundamentally said. And I want to open this up. If you want change, don't stand back. You can join me, the change agent. Stand shoulder to shoulder with me, says Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, and we will bring change together. Because ladki hoon, lad sakti hoon. Now, Congress leader is here with us. He's a very senior leader of the Congress, Lokesh Jindal, known to come very well researched to our debates, knows his facts, and I'm going to pin you down straight off, Mr. Jindal. Good evening, what, Rahul. What happened today in the Congress? Why wasn't a ladki who wanted to fight for herself? Why wasn't she allowed to take this fight to a logical conclusion? Why was she expelled, sir? Rahul, before I begin, I would like to make it very clear that I strongly support constitution of internal complaints committee, not just in workplaces but also in political parties, NGOs, civil societies everywhere, so that the protection of women is ensured in other places as well. But secondly, coming to the accusations that have been made, they are highly general. She has not come up with a specific name with some very specific. person she has not come up with incidents and if at all there is a specific information which the lady has then i believe a strong action must be taken an fir must be registered and the due process of law must be set into motion but all these forms of general accusations they tend to tarnish the image without any form of basis i would i would like to appeal over here that the lady must come out with very specific details and the due process of law should be set into motion and if at all there is any culprit strict stringent action must be taken no so one second mr jindal correct me if i'm wrong yes now if someone on a tv debate or tv show says that look this is the issue in the congress party she names some names don't forget and she was specific that's why the response has been expulsion for insulting female leaders before media rosebell's accusations are aimed at mentally harassing and defaming lakhs of female leaders and workers in the congress in collusion with political adversaries how have you leapt to this conclusion without an inquiry how have you no, leapt no. to the hang on conclusion sir you yourself said that you believe in the posh guidelines right you yes, said it yourself yes. i am not making this up yes and you have i must say i must commend you begun with that preface so the only way you can get to the bottom of this and put reverse allegations against miss john is after you have actually dug deep set up a yes. committee to then come out and pronounce a judgment but how can it happen without looking into anything show me evidence that due process was followed Yes, Rahul. In fact, that's that's where I would agree with you. Yes, the better course of action should have been that, uh, along with this uh, internal complaint committee, some form of a committee must be established to look into the charges that have been levelled. Yes, and findings. So, so nothing was done. What does that mean, viewers? That Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. Now, remember, viewers. I have to tell you this. Forget about this. This matter, and Dr. Ranganathan has been here, and so is Sanju Varma. and i want to bring in dr ranganathan before i bring in sanju varma sanju varma is a lone female here and i would like her to sum this up for us but dr ranganathan i have to ask you this this is very very important have you noticed that priyanka gandhi vadra wants to win an election from wynad which is a parliamentary constituency in kerala she has made that intention clear now one would think that when 50% of the women in kerala in that state are talking about a very deep organized sexual exploitation racket whether it's in her own party or beyond in mollywood and so and so forth and perhaps more deeply entrenched in other parts of the state's uh, huge formal employment sector should she be quiet 
uh, Rahul, before I begin on, uh, uh, you know, my what my views are on this subject, and there are uh, uh, very assertive. Can I gently castigate you? You were just uh, a few minutes ago talking about Gen Z. You need to be very careful here because please do not be so assertive as to say that only Sanju Verma is the only female among the panel because <laughs> the world will not take kindly to that. Uh, but let, let, let uh, yes. Well, I don't know about let, that. The Chief Justice of India might have a problem. I might be sent to notice. Okay. <laughs> yes. No, but you know, Congress ki rago mein Rahul kya daur raha hai? Khun nahi daur raha. Hypocrisy daur raha hai. You see, every time these guys, they get away because we end up talking about only the one instance that is in the news. And the same thing is happening right now. The credibility of an organization is built up about on the antecedents, what it has done in the past. And remember, let me give you a few instances because Congress has no locus standi when it no. comes to tackling misogyny. Remember the sickening misogyny. So the post guidelines they were passed during the Congress regime. You know, you know this is the why problem. Why now he's already that. No, Mr. Jindal, one second. Please don't. I'll give you the time. No, why are you not letting him speak? No one interrupted you, sir. I even asked you a follow-up question. Now let him finish. Yes, Dr. Ranganath. And you were saying no locus standi. No locus standi because let me give you half a dozen examples, and they'll be very clear why my good friend Lokesh is also quivering. Remember the sickening misogynistic attack on Kangana Narok when she was declared as the BJP candidate for the uh, Lok Sabha elections? Congress leaders dug out a random photograph of hers from a long acting career and then insinuated that she is a prostitute. It was sickening beyond measure. But then again, Rahul, when it comes to misogyny of the Congress, my cup runneth over. It's not just this instance. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hmm. There's Digvijay Singh who addressed his own compatriot, Ms. Natarajan, as 100% tunch mal. There's Abhijit Mukherjee, who called protesting women as dented painted. There's Sri Prakash Jaiswal, who said, as time passes, women get old and become not as fun as they used to be. And ever since Ms. Priti Irani defeated Rahul Gandhi in Amethi, she bore the brunt of such attacks. There's Jadeep Kawade, who said, Priti Irani wears a big bindi on her forehead, and when a woman changes her husband frequently, the size of the bindi keeps growing. There's Yusuf Bhatt, saying unmarried daughters are a liability. My daughters are a burden on me. There is Shashank Bhargava who said Spriti Irani roams around with a lot of bangles in her hand and I request her to give the Prime Minister her bangles and whatever else he wants so he will roll back the fuel price hike. There is Ajay Rai who says Spriti Irani comes to Amethi only to show latke jhatke. There is Sanjay Nirupam who says Spriti Irani thumke lagati hai. There is Rahul Gandhi who said Modi was a coward in sending a woman to answer my questions. Finally, do you remember Rahul, the Congress MLA in Rajasthan when Rajasthan was being ruled by Congress, who was sacked hmm. when he said, yes, talk of Manipur, yeah. but let's also not forget what is happening to women yeah. in Rajasthan. Yes. Yes. I need to Sanju come Varma. Please. Yes. No, 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 no let Sanju Varma speak. Please, Lokesh, I heard you. I heard you Mr. can't Ranganathan. expel her, let Mr. Jindal, please. Let her, let her say. Thank let you. Her say. <laughs> yes. You know, Rahul, I want to say one thing uh, today, since this is a very interesting topic and very close to my heart. You know, uh, even when I was in the corporate sector, I have seen there is this uh, stereotyping of women. You know, why does she dress like this? Why does she walk like this? Why has she tied her hair like this? Why does she wear certain kind of clothes when she goes to meet clients? Why does she attend dinner meetings and not lunch meetings? Doesn't her husband tell her anything when she must be reaching home late at night? Now, tell me one thing. You know, we can talk about, you know, women having broken the glass ceiling and I have broken a couple of glass ceilings myself. But I just have this to say that even today, very well-educated, empowered men, they simply can't digest the fact that a woman need not compromise to be where she is. Hmm. And I think that is the crux of the issue. Anand Ranganathan made some very interesting points and I will just take you back to 2018. At the height of the Me Too movement, I think one of the biggest heads that rolled was that of the then external affairs minister N.J. Akbar. True. I don't remember any other head rolling because most of us have realized that it's better yeah. to digest what is happening around us. Aankhe band kar lo, kaan band kar lo. No, but I want